what's up YouTube Lil Bones Leo here again back at you uh, we're gonna do another common sense video today and uh, today we're gonna be changing the oil on the tours so I put some engine restore before that worked out great um, but now it's time to drop it out and uh, yeah put some fresh oil in it there again guys um, kind of same thing with the coolant if you change it enough um, nothing fancy I'm just gonna run 1030 calls for a 520 but it is almost winter um, so I want a little heavier weight oil um, simple mobile one filter nothing like both of these combined was probably less than 20 bucks so uh it's really all we need i actually have a backup court too because this calls for five and a half quarts um this is a five quart and uh so let's get started so what we're gonna need some basic tools um i just have some box wrenches because i'm not sure the size of the drain plug oil filter wrench with the ratchet on there and a catch pan and uh, we'll start just by uh, popping this guy off right here for you guys. Kind of the same concept with the cooling system. You want to release pressure. So that's why I always take the scab off to make sure all the oil drains out. Um, you can use jacks and jack stands to bring it up. Um, I was fortunate enough to have these metal ramps that I drove up on. Um, so it keeps, because the oil plugs in the back of the block and I'll show you here momentarily. Um, and that way all the oil drains out of the car, not just some of it. Okay, we're here now underneath it. And uh, here's the oil pan here. Here's the drain plug. Just be careful that it actually is the oil one, guys. If you have a newer car, um, just make sure that it's actually the oil pan, not the tranny pan. We're just gonna take one of the box wrenches that fits on here. Um, I'm guessing it's probably 17. Uh, it's probably 15. And uh, get the 15 on there. And we'll go ahead and uh, drop it out. Always remember, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, but think of it from my perspective here. So it'd be from the back side. Um, so it'll seem a little weird sometimes, but always want to make sure your catch pan's ready to go because this is about to shoot out on us. Um, it does drain faster if your oil's warm. So right now it's just going to go ahead and dump all those in there. I have some rags too, so I'll just kind of shake this off. We want to clean this up real good with some rags before we try and put it back in because it'll pick up like all the kinds of grime and dirt and dust and so you don't want to put that back in and uh, so we'll let this fill up um, so we got a couple minutes all there and kind of clean her up just kind of cleaning up this bolt make it nice and clean so we don't end up with any kind of dirt or rocks or anything in it when we go to try to put it back in and uh it takes about five minutes to drain everything out of it, so you can kind of just chill. And uh, I'm going to clean up my hands a little bit, and uh, then we'll uh, plug it back up, pull the filter out, and uh, start putting oil in it. All right, with this nice and clean, we're going to go ahead and crawl back under and uh, just put this in with our fingers. Um, just snug her up. Also kind of cleaned out this area, cleaned off the cap as well. Um, just keep it all free of debris from getting into the engine block. And. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. If it has this tiny little stream of oil, you know, you're not gonna drain all of it out anyways, guys. So, go ahead and uh, just screw this back in here with our fingers. And then uh, once you get all the way with the fingers, we're gonna hit it with the wrench. It actually ended up being a 5 eighths on this Taurus. Uh, my mistake, I actually change a lot of oil on a lot of different vehicles. So for me to remember which tool on each car it is, is sometimes I get lucky like that, but other times, not so much. So just nice and snug. You don't want to overdo it. And uh, we're going to pull this pan out. I'll grab the tools out from underneath her. And we'll very carefully pull this forward. Like that. And I got to pull the filter. So I'm going to keep it right underneath the filter there. And uh, filter's hard to get to on this one. It's actually below the exhaust manifold. Um, so ideally don't have this engine really hot when you're trying to do this job So uh, I used one of these style These things are a lifesaver. Um, the slip wrenches are okay um, But I much prefer an exact fit wrench for filters um, Especially in these hard to reach areas. So we're gonna get this guy on there and I'll show you what it looks like So filter wrench is on it right now, and uh, we're just gonna turn it This one's easy, so I don't have to put a wrench on it Once it goes, you'll just be able to do it by hand here real soon. There we go. So now 
we're just going to reach down with our hands and just walk this off. And you don't have to change this every time, guys. The reason I'm doing it is because I ended up using Engine Restore, um, which is a miracle, by the way. It's put out by Prestone. Um, I highly recommend that shit. I'm not sponsored by them, but um, it's awesome stuff. And uh, that's the only reason I'm switching the filter this time. And uh, it'll drain out. It'll get a little messy, but this way. And we're just going to dump the rest of the oil out of this filter right into this pan underneath. And then what we're going to want to do is grab our new filter first. We already got the plug in it, so we're going to grab this filter here. You'll notice this seal's real dry. We're going to want to put oil on this rubber seal first. So I usually just stick my finger kind of around in here. And you don't need a whole lot. You just want to kind of lube this up. Just so this doesn't crack and end up failing. And uh, we'll just put it in by hand. Some cars are a lot harder to get to, of course. This is as tight as you can go with your hand. I'm gonna put this wrench back on it. If it'll fit this filter. Filters are different, but we got lucky with this. And uh, we're just gonna turn it a little more than uh, we can go with our hands. It's nice and snug on there. go ahead and uh, drop the old filter back into the box just keeps it clean and uh, I use a five gallon bucket for my oil and a lot of auto parts stores take recycled oil just as long as it's not mixed with other shit and uh, so we can actually take this and donate this for free all right so now we're just gonna dump five quarts in her it's a five and a half quart system all right, so we're just gonna dump her in nice and easy. She's a fun spider. Got five in her. So uh, now we're just gonna put the cap back on it. I'm gonna clean up any spills around it. Um, that way we know if it's leaking or not. Just to make sure everything's good. Uh, now we're gonna start it. Start her up. Get her off the ramps. So you basically want to start it and this will kick up real high and then the RPM will drop and right when it drops you know the, the oil is settled in the block, the oil pump sucked it up. Yeah, and so just grab your dipstick, make sure you wipe it clean once. Use one of these old rags I got here. And uh, this will be our test and you'll see ideally you don't want it up to the max point because oil does build pressure too. Um, and actually we're going to be good with that guys um, so five quarts will do her for now and uh, I'll probably test it again in a day or so and just see um, I'll probably have to add that extra half quart in about a day so that's pretty much it that's all there is to it you put everything away call it a day you're pretty much um, done and that's as easy as that um, takes about eight minutes um, once you get it down and uh, call it a day and you save a bunch of money that cost me less than 20 bucks to do that um, versus taking it in and paying someone 60 bucks and then having them trying to upsell you on every single thing in there so uh thanks for tuning in guys as always um thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe down below and i'll catch you guys next time peace out